Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about files used in C. So what are the different types of files used in C? So there are four types of files. Those are source file, header file, object file, executable file. So source file is nothing but whatever the program you have written is known as a source file. Okay, header file. So I already told in the last class. So header file is nothing but preprocessor directives. Okay, objective file. So whenever you compile, one file is created that is nothing but object file. Next one is executable file. So the output file is known as executable file. So let's see one by one. So first one is source file source code file so this files includes the source code of the program okay so source code is nothing but the program the extension for this kind of file is dot c so for c programs you can save the c programs with the extension dot c program name dot c so source code is nothing but file source file it defines the main and many more functions written in c main is the starting point of the program it may also contain other source code files okay so in one main file it can contain many more files okay so the source files extension is dot c next one is header files they have an extension dot h so here stdio dot h string dot h stdlib dot h so they contain the c function declarations and also macro definitions that are shared between various source files so header files contains the files okay header files are used to use those files that contain predefined functions so all these header files contains predefined functions so if you want to include into our program then you need to use those header files with the extension dot h so common standard header files are string dot h so when we want to use the string dot h used for handling string functions so i will discuss later string functions next std lib dot h used for miscellaneous functions and next one standardized input output functions so for printf scanf we use std io dot h next for mathematical functions we use math dot h and for memory allocation we use alloc dot h and next for clearing screen for clearing output screen we use conio dot h okay so these are the very important header files string dot h std lib dot h so std lib means a standard library std io math dot h alloc conio dot h conio means console input output dot header file okay next object file so what is object file they are the files that are generated by the compiler as the source code file is processed so whenever the source code file is c file is processed then the compiler is used to convert the source code file into object file this files generally contains binary codes of the function definitions so binary codes are nothing but zeros and ones so computer only knows zeros and ones so computer cannot understand input statements english statements so that's why computer needs a translator the translator is known as compiler so it is used to convert zeros and ones so the source code is converted into object file whenever it is compiled the object file is used by the 
linker for producing the executable file for combining object files together okay so object file use a linker to produce executable file for combining the object file together so it has the extension as dot o okay object file contain extension dot o next last one is executable file so what is executable file executable file is generated by the linker so linker is used to generate executable file the various object files are linked by the linker for producing a binary file which will execute it directly okay so many many object files okay various object files are linked together by using linker for producing binary file which will be executed directly because binary file contains zeros and ones so those zeros and ones can be understandable by the computer so directly executed okay so they have extension dot dot exe okay executable file so there are four types of files source file header file object file and executable file so if you have any doubts regarding to this please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you